Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you a game between Magnus Carlsen and Bu Zhangzi. The game was played in round 1 of FIDE World Rapid Championship 2017. Let's see the game. White starts with c4, English opening, and black replies with knight to f6, knight to c3, and e5. It looks like we have a Sicilian with reversed colors, e3, preparing d4, and this move allows the last core bishop to develop. Knight to c6, another developing move, and a3, controlling b4 and prepares b4. d5, attacking the center, and white takes with the pawn, and black recapture with the knight. Queen to c2. It was better to develop a minor piece, or play in the center with d4. Moving the queen in an opening is the last thing to do. The queen usually is moved in the opening when we need to connect our rooks. Bishop to e7, preparing short castle, and knight to f3, developing the knight toward the center, and short castle by black. b4, expanding on the queen side, and the dark square bishop can be developed on b2. Also, white threatens b5 and capture the pawn from e5. In the game, black took on c3 and white recaptured with the pawn. As we can see, the d file is opened. Queen to d6, defending the pawn, bishop to d3. h7 is under attack, and black defends it by pushing f5. e4 and f4, blocking the diagonal for the bishop and the queen. h3, controlling g4, preventing bishop to g4. Black needs to develop his light square bishop, but there is no good square for it. If we cannot develop our pieces, we can prevent our opponent development. And a good way to do this is to play queen to g6. And if white castles short, our bishop will take the pawn from h3. In the game, black played a5, trying to create some weaknesses. And bishop to b2, developing the last minor piece. And white might castle long. Bishop to f6, defending e5 one more time and also freeze the e7 square for the knight to retreat and also to go to the king side. Rook to d1, placing the rook on the same file with the queen and it's threatening bishop to c4, check, picking up the queen. Queen to e7, a short castle, white king is safe and with this move white finish his opening. Bishop to e6, the last minor piece is developed and black finish his opening as well. The king is safe, the rooks are connected and all the other minor pieces are developed. In the middle game, white needs to start an attack. The easiest target are the weak pawns. Black has weak pawns on e5, c7 and b7. A good move for white would be to attack the knight from c6 with b5. An attacking move is good only if our opponent is going back. In this case, the knight has to go back to b8 or d8. In the game, white played queen to e2. From this position, the queen can go to the queen's side, to the king's side, if the knight moves away, and also helps the bishop to go to c4. Queen to f7, preventing bishop to c4, and rook to d2 trying to double on the open file. And here black started an attack on the king side with g5 followed by g4. And white starts its counter attack on the queen side with b5, knight to e7 and c4, attacking e5 pawn twice with the knight and the bishop, knight to g6, defending the pawn and also the knight will help with the attack on the king side, knight to h2, controlling g4 and f3 and frees the queen to participate on the defense. g4 is prevented for the moment. Black continues with rook a to d8, bringing the last piece into the game. Maybe it was better to continue with knight to h4, trying to inflict some weaknesses in white camp. Rook f to d1, and queen to e7, defending the rook, and also looking at another diagonal, the f8, a, 3. c5 would be a good square for the queen, pinning the pawn from f2 into h5 into black territory and rook to d7. 
Since the queen is no longer defending the bishop and the rook, black plans to double on the d file, pinning the bishop. Knight to g4, attacking the dark square bishop, and black doubled on the d file. Knight to h6, check. King to h8, knight to f5, and the queen is under attack. Queen to c5, attacking c4 pawn for a second time. Queen to e2, defending the pawn, and knight to h4, trying to attack, annoying the knight from f5. Knight takes on h4, g takes on h4, and queen to h5, putting pressure on the pawn from e5, h4, and h7. 7, rook to g8, placing the rook on the same file with white king, and bishop to f1, defending the pawn and attacking the rook from g7. In the game, black put the rook on g7, and black has two rooks pointing at white king. Also, black is threatening to take the pawn from c4 with the bishop. King to h1, black was threatening to take the pawn from h3 with the bishop, that's why the king was moved. Queen to e7, black queen comes to defend the bishop. Taking on c4 was not okay, because the queen can come to f5 attacking the bishop. Let's see that line. Bishop takes on c4, queen to f5, attacking the bishop, and if we continue it, bishop takes on f1, queen takes on f6, bishop takes on b5, bishop takes on e5, Queen f8 defending the rook. Queen takes on h4. The rook is pinned by the bishop. Bishop to e8 and rook to d8. Pinning the bishop. Queen to f7 getting out of the pin. Queen to g5. Queen to g6. The bishop takes the rook. Check. Queen takes. Queen takes. King takes. And white is an exchange up. And he can try to take the other pawns from black. Camp. That's why in the game, black played queen to e7, protecting the bishop, and queen to f3, rook to g5, controlling h5, and preparing the bishop to come to f7, and f5, attacking the queen. a4, and bishop to f7, rook to d7, attacking the queen, and queen to e6, queen to e2, wants to play f3, if bishop to h5 is played. It was better to play the queen somewhere along the third rank, because in the game black continue with bishop to h5 attacking the queen and f3. And the drawback of this move is that the g3 is no longer protected and black can place a piece there and he put his rook on that square and king to h2, queen to b6, looking at the g1 square, white king is cut off and c5 attacking the queen and the queen takes the pawn and in this position Carlson made the move and resigned. He played king to h1. If you want to find the drawback of this move by yourself please pause the video. The problem with this move is that the king is no longer controlling h3 pawn and also g8 square is attacked twice by the queen and the rook. That's why the correct move in this position is a rook takes on h3. And after the pawn takes, black delivers mate with the queen on g1. I hope that you learned something from this game. Please watch other games from my channel. And if you like this video clip, click the like button and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.